I study spatial cognition, which is how you represent the world around you. So a good example of that might be how you find your way in a new building. So here we are in, the, in a hospital. Hospitals are um, one type of building that people sometimes have difficulty um, finding their way. So there are three factors that might influence whether um, you'll be successful in finding your destination in a new building. Uh, one is features of the building itself. So good lines of sight, if there's symmetry, good signage in the building might help. Another is the cognitive map. So that's just this internal representation that you build that has elements of the building. So some objects that you pass by, landmarks, some that are so where you turn, certain paths, and so on. And then the third factor are things about the, the the person navigating themselves. So their spatial ability, they might be someone who um, never gets lost. They might be someone who gets lost all the time, and they might have different strategies about encountering in a novel space. And sometimes those strategies get reflected in differences in the way people give directions to someone else. So there's three factors, the cognitive map that you build up, features of the building that get into the map or that invite certain strategies. Understanding wayfinding in a new building, like in a hospital, really requires studying all three of those in combination.